So with the with the the, the e ink screen indicator, what as I was saying, you know, this this could have been around for um, like a 20 years. It could have been around for last, since last month. I have no idea. I'm not I'm not up. I'm not in the loop with with much stuff. With this, I'm wearing polarized sunglasses. I love to write outside under the sun. On a cell phone, it's it's just it's 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 simply not fathomable to, to have this this sort of option to this this sort of visibility with this. I can see everything that I'm working on as if I was inside in the dark um, and only having a backlit screen. It is absolutely amazing. I don't know anything about about this um, about the way this screen works, but it's incredible. Um, having that ability, that peace of mind to be able to go outside and write your story, you know, with, with the birds, um, with the cricket concerts, all these other sort of things, all these other sort of environments, um, you know, emotions that help bring out sort of the, the best in a lot of writers. If that's the way you like to write, if you do prefer to write outside, obviously we know that with, with laptops, Macs, whatever, it's very hard because of the way the screen's lit. But with this, it's just, it's, it's flawless. It's beautiful. Um, I love it so much, and it's just, um, it, it's fucking rad. It really is. It really is rad. So that, I will say, that is probably the best part of this, is having that ability to just take this outside in nature. Um, and just and just write and be able to see you know uh, you're not going to be able to see anything outside when it's so bright but if you're able to throw on sunglasses or whatever the case is it's absolutely just perfect and I can't speak highly of it enough from there one let uh, another question that I thought was a pretty good one that needed to be answered and like I say it may have been in other videos I don't really know that is going to be with regards to the the keyboard, how loud it is. I I would definitely consider it's going to be highly unlikely to take this into a coffee shop without drawing attention to yourself. And it's not because of how um, it's not because of the device itself, but because it is loud. Uh, let me turn this off because I don't want to right on my draft here. Now, coffee shops do... I guess it depends. You know, I don't know. I don't really know what a coffee shop is anymore. If Starbucks is considered one or if it's, you know, the local... Um, whatever the case is. But I, my sense is that if I was in a coffee shop and I heard somebody typing on this, I'd probably get pretty fucking annoyed. Now, that being said you are there just as anyone else and most people are there working on their projects um, whether it's genuine or otherwise so if you don't mind drawing a little bit of attention to yourself then I would just say yeah go for it uh, it is a little a little loud though but when you're on your own the sound is absolutely gorgeous I mean it's the most beautiful resonance that these keyboards give off it has this very 80s um, it doesn't sound like a typewriter in my opinion it sounds more like a, a if you were to throw in like the hacking of um, com a computer whiz like from the girl with a dragon tattoo if you've seen the movie the sound of that keyboard mixed with an 80s sort of cyberpunk cyberpunk <laughs> cyberpunk cyberpunk lo-fi um, sound if you were to throw this all into a blender uh, this would be the sound if, if that helps at all that it gives off and it's just absolutely fabulous um, and if you type slow enough like I do, it almost goes to the, the, that sense of adrenaline you get when you've captured, when you've captured something that's worthwhile, and, um, it's that aha moment. This, the sound of your keys is almost in unison with the, the adrenaline and the heart pounding in, inside of you. So there's something to be said about that. I think it's very unique. I've never had that experience writing on anything. And I have written on, on um, old typewriters as well as my Mac, which um, that will be strictly reserved for, for my edits and finals. Like I said, I'll never, I'll never not do my first draft on this. Um, so that, that's just to, to help sort of put to bed um, anybody who was wondering about the ability of, of writing with this um, in a coffee shop, I would say, I, I, for me, I would not do it. But then again, I don't go to coffee shops. I don't drink coffee. 
Um, you know, I I prefer my stimulants from other sources. So, um, getting on to the next thing. I hate to use that word thing, but getting on to the next um, feature of this device that I don't like. Um, I am not a big iCloud, iSyncing, whatever the case is. When I had purchased this, I thought that with the, because it has the USB-C cable, which I don't even know, you know, I, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I was under the impression that I would be able to just plug in a, plug in a flash on the back because that's how I have, you know, my whole life is in a, is in a flash drive. It's, it's always in my, my Mac. I thought I'd be able to just plug it into this, but um, it could be written in the directions. The directions are basic and minimal at best, at the absolute best. Um, there is basically a few bulleted sentences in there that tell you how to turn the thing on, how to turn the thing off, and, um, and if you're technologically illiterate like I am, um, the directions for syncing, I would say, are kind of weak. But most people my age are pretty savvy with this stuff, so they'll probably be fine. Long story short, I did end up getting it finally synced to the, whatever it's called, the post box, I think is their, their own um, uh, iCloud syncing mechanism. I don't know what the fuck, but it's actually pretty easy. Um, and from there, you know, you can, you can take your draft and you can put it on... Um, you know, if you just want to put it on Word, throw it on. I know a lot of people are using Grammarly, things of that. Um, so it makes it pretty easy, actually. It's it's much more seamless than even a schmuck like me can can deal with. So, um, or is able to, to practice and, and make it uh, successful without having to, to pull out my hair or um, losing a little bit of mental stability. So, but. That being said, I do wish it had the ability that you could just plug in a USB directly on that back port. Um, I don't know if you can see it back there on the, it's be right around, right around here there, but uh, I do wish that the, there was an ability to do that. Um, I think it'd be worthwhile, but um, the USB, the, or the USB, I don't even know. Whatever that cable is that it does come with to charge it, um, it is able, you do have the ability to just plug it into your um, your free write and then plug it into your your laptop or whatever and just um, basically transport it right from it, this to your computer so that's you know that it's it's really not too bad it's not too bad like I said I, I do wish had the ability to, to do otherwise but you know to each their own so that kind of you know that that just was um, that addressed that and one thing that's probably going to help <laughs> that I wish I had seen myself when I was looking for reviews is at first with me for a review this was going to be I was I was keeping notes what I liked and what I disliked at first this was going to be a major disliking with this and that was the following you have the ability to go from these different folders a B and C just with the switch of the dial here um, I was absolutely terrified to make any to switch this from A to B because when I started I was just kept it on A and I was just you know I was just writing um, non-stop um, and I had ideas you know as a lot of us do and for me it's hard to stay focused sometimes on on just um, on just one story but for for this one I will help ease the the anxiety of those who are worried about this A, B, C feature, if they if they just take it from A to B, if A is just going to be wiped and gone. Um, now, obviously, if if you're syncing this with the, the Wi-Fi option the whole time, I, I, to my understanding, it just continually syncs, which is nice. But for me, I was not doing that because I was trying to hold off on syncing for as long as I can because I just don't like that shit. It's just not me. I don't, you know, I'm not into this iCloud stuff, but, you know, I'm not going to be a dead horse. So, but... Fortunately, I can confirm that if you're writing on a, if you've just written 30,000 words, or in my case, you know, uh, nine, just about 9,000 words in, in, in those few days, you can switch it over to B, start your other ideas, um, or even keep your edits on B and go back to A, and your draft will still be there unaltered. So that kind of feature is nice. So you can almost um, use B 
um, as not only your other stories or your just, um, you know, if you wanted to start a new story with having A, it's going to be saved on there. So don't worry about switching back and forth. Um, I had a paralyzing fear of it. Uh, and I didn't do it until last night when I finally decided to give in when my, when my short story was finished. Uh, I thought, well, okay, it's synced now. I know it's not going to go anywhere, so I'll go ahead and uh, make the switch over. Uh, and it was nice. You know, it was so reassuring because I just remember breaking out in a cold sweat thinking, oh, my fuck. You know, I thought I'm going to lose this story. Um, and I was having, uh, but fortunately, it's, it's not the case. So, um, yeah, just, uh, just be at ease on that. One another thing that I would like to talk about is uh, this. This was probably addressed um, in some of the other reviews, but I think it's it's a really cool feature. Um, if you if you push special on the the keyboard here, the the layout on the bottom of the screen, there's different options that it does have. Um, uh, the the one of the ones being the reading time, which is pretty unique. I kind of like that, you know. Um, and it, it proved to me how fucking slow of a reader I am because this draft for me ended up being 17 pages um, and 41 minutes. And for me, you know, 41 minutes worth of reading, um, <laughs> it's not it's not much. Um, I guess a lot of that depends on what you're reading and stuff as well. But um, so it has the reading time, the word count, and the character count. I do wish. When you page up and page down on the device here, it gives you the page, but it's on this layout. So this is page 123 of 124. Obviously, with this being so small, it's not really much of an accurate gauge or guide to get a full understanding of where you're at. Uh, that would be one thing I might, if, if I could, um, excuse my cigarettes, if I could maybe rec make a recommendation to um, free write.